when Sylvester Stallone became Snap's provolone, I had the idea to play his father, Victor Mature, who was retired and living in Palm Springs at the time. So I drove down to see him, and he thought about it, and he looked great, by the way. Anyway, so I said to him, would you do this? And he said, I would be honored. I would love to do it. And then his agent calls the studio and says it would be a million dollars for one day's work. So I called him up, and I said, are, are you aware that your agent asked for a million dollars? And he said, oh, yes. And I said, well, you know that they're not going to do that. And then I have this brilliant idea. Spartacus! <laughs> I'll get Kirk Douglas! He came to me, he came to the studio. I explained what I wanted, and he said, I'd, be, I'd love to do it for you, John. And he was great. And I said, I'd like you to have a mustache. And we put a mustache on him. And do me a favor, don't shave for a couple of days. Great. So I'm all excited. We're, we're in production, and I... Next day, I say to Stallone, hey, Sly, guess who's going to play your father? Who? Kirk Douglas. Oh, shit. I go, oh, shit. I'm thrilled that Kirk Douglas, it's a great scene. I'm delighted Kirk Douglas is going to play your dad. He went, oh, I know why he's doing it. Why? He says, so he can hit me. And I said, Sylvester... Kirk Douglas is doing this so he can hit you? And Sly goes, yeah. And he told me the story, which I later learned was absolutely correct, which is First Blood, which was a movie made in Canada starring Sylvester Stallone, where he played a character called Rambo. And the character who in the movie was played by Richard Crenna was Kirk Douglas. And Kirk Douglas showed up in Canada, and I think it was Ted Kotcheff. Was, I forgot who, because I spoke to him, and he told me the story. But basically, they're making the movie, and, and they'd shot like three or four days. When Kirk asked to speak to the director, he says, um, listen, I've been thinking about it, and the ending of the movie doesn't work. I can't let Rambo go. I have to kill him. I mean, that's my duty. I'm, I have to kill him. And the director sort of goes, well, Kirk, um, that's not going to happen. No, seriously, I think I, my character has to kill him. It makes no sense. I mean, it's, it's like weak of me to let him live. I mean, I know I'm supposed to respect him and all that, but it's bullshit. My character's been assigned to kill him. I'm an officer, milit you know, and all this. So the director just said, Kirk, um... Sly is the star of the movie. Oh, I know that, but he'll understand. I mean, I just think he... So the director says, Kirk, it's not, you know, the studio. Nobody wants that. Well, I think you tell everyone that that's what I want. And if they want me to continue, that's what I want. So he goes to Stallone, the director, and he says, um, oh, Sylvester. <laughs> you know, and Stallone says, go fuck you and him and, you know, and all that. So Kirk made a big thing, and he said, if I'm not, if I don't triumph at the end of this movie, then I quit. And it was like, bye. So that's what really happened. So comes the day that we're shooting. They all come in, and Kirk is in bed. And this is the first time Stallone has seen Kirk since then. And I said, why don't we rehearse? And Stallone says, no, I think we shoot. I said, okay. I say, Kirk, can we rehearse the slap? No, I'm fine. Sly's right. Let's just get it. And Stallone is looking at me like, you know, and I'm going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, he got me worried. So I finally said, Kirk, you know, um, give him a real, you know, movie slap. Kirk looks at me and says, how many movies have I made? So I sit down. Oh, shit. Okay. So we do the scene. <laughs> I didn't put a sound effect in there. That's him hitting him. That's a so you won't forget. And Stallone is a big handprint on it. But Stallone was a gentleman about it. Didn't say anything. He got up, you know, he said, I'll be in my trailer. <laughs>